Carlos, in your experience, what makes a vital leader? It's a great question, uh, Max. I think what ultimately differentiates a vital leader from a normal leader is the fact that he can connect with people. He is able to create an environment which is conducive to self-motivation by engendering trust, by designing a vision which is inspiring enough for people to want to be part of that journey with him or her. But not only that, articulating that vision uh, requires passion, requires purpose, a connection with something bigger than ourselves. And uh, aside from motivation, I think that an, uh, another important uh, aspect or vi vital leader is the ability to execute too, because it's not enough just to say, well, I have a vision, uh, do you want to be part of this journey? Uh, a leader has to be able to execute well uh, and be part of the process with his uh, followers. And to be able to uh, convey that aspect of trust will make people more willing to risk, to take risks and be adaptable to change, to be agile, to be fast and, uh, and understand that we live in a very changing, turbulent uh, world and change is the only certainty that we have. <laughs> and another important aspect uh, is the ability also of a vital leader to use the synergies amongst people and capitalize on the, the strengths of each and every individual that's part of his team. Uh, but trust, for me, is the crucial element of a vital leader. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Max.